As you know, February is Black History Month, and our Black Voices editors are putting together some incredible pieces to celebrate. Joining us now is Danielle Cadet, editor of HuffPost Black Voices, to talk about absolutely one gorgeous piece that is up right now of then and now photos of iconic black history locations. Hi, Danielle. Hi, how are you? It's great to have you here. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. We never get other people joining us for it's TV. Nice. It's nice. I like just stars. us. So, Danielle, tell me about these photos. Uh, you know, they're such an incredible mashup. They're gorgeous. Can you explain to me what we're looking at here? So, um, we really wanted to kind of do a new spin on Black History Month. And so we wanted to take really these iconic images and these iconic locations, these iconic civil rights locations and black history locations, and really take a look at what they look like now and what they looked like in, in our mind's eye, how we remember them. So for example, we have the Central High School in Arkansas where the Little Rock Nine uh, went to school. And that image is particularly striking because it's the image of the US federal troops literally walking those nine students up the stairs. And you know, if, if you know the story, at all. It's a really harrowing image if you think about nine, you know, black children who were trying to go to school, really, and they were getting harassed by, um, you know, white people who didn't want, the white parents who didn't want their, uh, you know, children going to school with black children. Uh, we also have an image of Mary McLeod Bethune in front of her um, DC home, which is now a national historic site. Um, Mary McLeod Bethune is well known for women's rights as well as civil rights, and she, um, she, held meetings at that home um, and you know she just did a lot and, and met with a lot of individuals who really helped affect major change both in the civil rights movement and in the women's movement. Um, we also have an image of Malcolm X um, at in Harlem um, at the corner of 115th Street and Lenox Avenue. And that um, picture is really interesting because that, um, that photograph itself is of Malcolm giving a speech. But if you go to that corner right now, there's like a deli and a dry cleaner there on that corner. So it's really interesting to see the juxta juxtaposition of those two images. Um, the last image is uh, perhaps one of the uh, most well-known, which is at the Lorraine Motel where uh, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. That image is um, extremely important because it's literally when there were civil rights leaders, including um, Andrew Young, who were literally pointing in the direction of where the shots where the shots came from. And, and in that image, you can see MLK at their feet. Um, he's fallen and he's been shot. And so that's kind of a juxtaposition of what that what happened in that moment and what the Lorraine Motel looks like now. And it's now a National Civil Rights Museum. That so, photo is particularly haunting when, when you look at it, um, the juxtaposition. And then to see that where they're pointing, the way the editing was done is they essentially are pointing at the sign that says National Civil Rights Museum. It's really a beautiful beautiful photo. This is, these photos are incredible and I encourage everyone to take a look at them in our resource well because they are pretty spectacular.